There's a lot to explore here. Kinda nice to be out of Midgard for a bit, huh? Time slag? Give it here. <laughs> this will be of use. Whatever you need, I'll create. By the way, if you're headed to the mining rigs in the bay, could you bring me any slag you find? I could use the material for my crafting. built to harvest ore for armaments, essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. You think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. There's another mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke. Why would the dwarves agree to work for the Ace here in the first place? That's the heart of it, eh? You lied to them. I lied to them. Yeah, we could swing across that, uh, lift thing. Gantry. Gantry. Thanks. Quite right.
It's gotta be the right spot. Those battles. I smell fuel. Bet a spot from your blades would cause quite a boom. I think we could break through the ground here, if you found a high enough place to drop from. Surprised the dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. The Einher Yar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Can you have convinced them not to? Aye. That should help. Yeah, that looks right.
Okay, Mimir. To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource or mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. What you just picked up there is pure Svartalfheim ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. The dwarf survived because of you. Ah, you're not wrong there, brother. Odin would have wiped out every last dwarf in Svartalfheim. If he couldn't use their skills, no one could. Ymir, how many stories have you told about Odin and Thor? and all the bad things they've done. Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. All the other people they've heard. Let's see. Okay, there was Thalmor, the stonemason. Aye, he quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him, found Thor instead. And there was Thalmor's son, Grimther. He built the walls of Asgard and whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. Ah, but enough of that for now.
We need more special equipment to use this. Another one of those geysers, but huge. Maybe we could check it out later. We can see it fine from here. Back to Thor Noden stories? Where were we? There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. You can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body, and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Though admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir gods dream. And we'll just stop there for now. Smell the smoke? There's another mining rig here. You speak of your deed with shame. Do you regret not allowing Odin to kill them? I don't. Behind you, father! If the dwarves didn't like working for Asgard, couldn't they just quit? And do what? Their newly built forges poisoned the soil of Svartalfheim. Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. If they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. Oh, that's clever. And awful. to Muspelheim. Think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago? What makes you say that? Wishful thinking, I guess. Going through Surtur's gauntlet, it was fun. It was training. You didn't have fun? Hmm. Well, anyway. We should look for the other half of the seed. Once it's whole again, we can see where it leads.
a little wretch is like there's no tomorrow. Oh, it will be so. Go, go. So meager a task done. A wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational bucket. You must live with your deeds, but do not be troubled by them, brother. Oh? And why not? You were given an impossible problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure the dwarves would feel differently. This doesn't fix it. No. But it is a start. A reminder, brother. That Svartalfine slag we collected could be of considerable use in the hands of Brock or Sindri. down the rigs. Father, is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. We going to Durland? Hope he'll be happy we fixed those rakes. This is the safety office? Well, the sign of hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. For Durlin? Do you have an appointment? Uh, no. Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Here to collect on something, pal. Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Astrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Dead. Best of them all. One's left alive after pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfine from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Take this. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the old father's given name and, uh, yeah, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. This isn't a fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead. Go! 
The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you smelled him? But it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah. Tyr! Sterlin helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. This thing looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, nothing quite like a dwarven train ride. Hearing. No one said it until you did, just now. Darling, he didn't need to say it, but it was written all over his face. Uh, well, burned, I should say, into his head. He burned that into Darling's head? Failed rebellions tend to warrant swift and enduring retribution. He is a captain of Odin. Aye, and the bearer of Galahorn. A true believer, that one. There are few things so dangerous in a man as lack of doubt. like we're here. Come on. This way. I can see another train. Let's look for a way to get over there. You know, maybe finding Tyr is our best protection. Seemed like Odin really didn't want us to find it. Once Tyr's free and can be God of War again, Odin won't have time to worry about us. If that is his war to fight, he may have it. We need some special equipment to use this. <laughs> wow. 
Oh, is that a Trekkie? What happened here? Use caution. I think it's dead. Yep, definitely dead. Hey, I wonder if... Drekius will kill the first one we found? If so, it was their aggression that got them both killed. Down there! I can see a mine. That has to be what Derlin was talking about. Tracks up on the left there. Might be another train we can take. Father, what if a war with Odin isn't just tears to fight? What if it's ours too? War is not the only way. We're gods. Better gods. We're trying to stop Ragnarok. To help people. And what if the only way to do that is war? Atreus. <clears throat> Forge ahead. Unintended, I imagine. Oh, my God. 
back on the track. <gasps> wow, this thing is small. Okay, we need to go left. Wait, I meant my life. Keep going. We're so close, just a little to the left. That's way too far. Namir, tell him left. We're so close, just a little to the left. Yeah, that's it. Round two, here we go. thinking we could show it to Brock and Sindri when we got back. Here. Okay, so, we came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? If you think about it, war could... Uh-oh. Said it, level brother. This place is incredible.
Get through this oar. So, quite the mouth you had on the train, lad. It's just a word. I've heard way worse from... The word does not matter. You've lost control. We were falling through the air. I thought we were gonna die. Is that what you truly wish your last word to be? No. In moments of crisis, panic does nothing. Harness it. Let it serve you. Cargo. Looks like the water powers the crane that's keeping the cargo up. Bet there's a couple more near here. Let's find them, yeah? That water must have lowered here as the dwarves dug the mine deeper. Wonder what it looked like before they excavated it. Hmm. <sighs> 